Shemuel Shani to Samuel 4. And when Shaul's son heard that Avner was dead in Hebron, his hands were feeble, and all Yashadael were troubled. And Shaul's son had two men that were captains of bands. The name of the one was Ba'ana'a, and the name of the other Rechav, the sons of Ramon, a Ba'ithothi, of the children of Binyamin. For Be'eroth also was reckoned to Binyamin, and the Be'orothim fled to Gitaim, and were sojourners there until this day. And Yahunathan, Shaul's son, had a son that was lame of his feet. He was five years old when the tidings came of Shaul and Yahunathan out of Yisrael, and his nurse took him up and fled. And it came to pass, as she made haste to flee, that he fell, and he became lame. And his name was Mephivosheth. And the sons of Ramon, the Be'arothi, Rachav and Bana'ah, went and came about the heat of the day to the house of Ish-bosheth, who lay eth on a bed at noon. And they came thither into the midst of the house, as though they would have fetched wheat, and they smote him under the fifth rib. And Rachav and Bana'ah, his brother, escaped. For when they came into the house, he lay on his bed in his bedchamber, and they smote him and slew him, and Eth beheaded him, and took Eth his head, and got them away through the plain at all night. And they brought Eth the head of Ishbosheth unto El David to Hebron, and said to the king, Behold, the head of Ishbosheth, the son of Shaul, your enemy, which sought at your life, and Yahuwah has avenged my lord the king this day of Shaul and of his seed. And David answered Eth Rechav and Eth Bana'ah, his brother, the sons of Ramon, the Be'erothi, and said unto them, As Yahuwah lives, who has redeemed Eth my soul, out of all adversity. When one told me, saying, Behold, Shaul is dead, thinking to have brought good news, I took hold of him and slew him in Siglag, who thought that I would have given him a reward for his tidings. How much more when wicked men have slain Eth, a righteous person, in his own house, upon his bed, Shall I not therefore require at his blood of your hand and take you away from the earth? And David commanded his young men, and they slew them and cut off at their hands and at their feet and hanged them up over the pool in Hebron. But they took the head of Aish Bosheth and buried it in the sepulchre of Avner in Hebron.